Hey everyone. <clears throat> oh, look, I got both kitties. For those of you who don't know, this is Moo. Oh, hey. And that's Lou. Miss Moo, Mr. Lee. What do you do, Moo? I am making this video. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm making this video because I have nothing better to do. And it actually gives me great pleasure to announce that I am on a support group website, dailystrength.org. And I have been touched by so many people already, and I just posted something two days ago. And many people are already reaching out. Some have actually started watching my YouTube videos, and I wanted to make a video where I said hello to all of my new Daily Strength friends. I feel like we all have something in common. We're battling something that is very hard on our self-esteem, our bodies, our mental capabilities. I don't know about you guys. I will set my keys down, turn around, and then I will totally forget that I set my keys down and I will be looking everywhere for them except for right in front of me. That happens a lot. <clears throat> and as many of you know from my past videos and some of you from my past postings on the website, if you are indeed watching from this, um, I am going through the crazy and civic itch and it's still like uh right now but it's a little bit better that i can actually speak right now and not feel like i need to scream out to the lord and ask for forgiveness because <laughs> i was doing that quite a bit i was on the floor rolling around pretending i was rolling on rocks and like hard stones and glass and knives needles the saw two pit anybody and um, I really don't know if anything's going to help with that. I saw the doctor this morning. And um, again, as of right now, I am undetected for my hepatitis C, which is wonderful. <clears throat> I'm a little over halfway there. He's going to lower my dosage of the ribavirin. And I'm just going to take two twice a day as opposed to the three twice a day and see if that helps. Just for a week. I was like, oh, God, isn't that going to make my treatment a little bit longer? And both he and the nurse were like, no. I'm like, well, if you do the math, 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. How is that not going to make my treatment a little bit longer? But hey, I will take it for a week. I can maybe let be less severe with all the reactions that I'm having. They gave me an oral steroid. I don't know if it's going to work. A couple people have told me that it won't really kick in for two days and then it's going to keep me up and... Uh, Look at my under eyes. I got so little sleep last night. I feel like I look like a drug addict. To me, aside from the itching, which really is t the worst part with my experience, I think the hardest thing about being on this treatment for the liver is I don't feel like myself. I might speak as though in camera, I speak like I did in all my other videos, but in person, I've become really distant. I really just... I don't want to be in everybody's face. I don't want them being all in mine. And I know that they can tell that something's different with me if they don't know what's going on. It's very hard for me to fake the funk, especially when I'm <gasps> heaving all the time. People would think I'm just like crazy overweight, but I actually lost 10 pounds according to the doctor this morning, which is wonderful. Let's keep on going. 10 times 10. That'll be a lollipop. <clears throat> but um, I just don't feel like... Matthew, I, I don't know what I feel like. I know that I'm still in there. And I think like me at times, but I'm just not energetic. I, I don't have a desire to do anything but relax or complain. <laughs> and um, this support group that I found online is really changing my attitude towards it. I was on the website for a few weeks before I actually joined, just reading about people's um, reaction to the medicine and post-treatment and during treatment and I'm actually glad that I didn't find it until the itching started because so many people have had horrible experiences on this and it's not been a cakewalk for me either but the things that they've gone through it probably would have made me stress out about it and been like oh my god is that gonna happen to me I've experienced fatigue I've experienced just total weakness no sleeping constant urination headaches um, no desire to eat. When I go to the bathroom, number two, it feels like shards of glass coming through. Um, the itching around that area, and obviously the itching everywhere else. The hair loss, the memory loss, 
Um, just to name a few. <laughs> and obviously, like right now, my main concern is this itching, which brings me five minutes into it to um, a little test that I'm doing on myself. Um, I went around and I asked a couple people if they could recommend anything that might help with the itching, even though I know they don't know what I'm going through and it's totally internally, or at least I think it is. And some people on the actual, and on the support group site have actually given me some suggestions and I took them. One of them was um, Ocean Motion Lotion or something like that. I can't remember, but it was for sunburn. I couldn't find it, but granted I was looking in CVS and the person recommended that I um, look in Walmart. I wanted to go to CVS and talk to a pharmacist and I ended up not doing that because they couldn't be bothered to talk to me. But that's okay. I won't hold it against them. They were busy, so it's fine. So I actually got a Vino Active Natural Skin Relief 24-Hour Moisturizing Lotion. And this is clinically shown to help reduce, or excuse me, relieve itchy, extra dry skin. And it moisturizes for a full 24 hours. Gentle enough for sensitive skin, free of fragrance and steroids. I have put this on the left side of my body. And then I got as recommended by a coworker of mine, Eucerin Calming Cream, Daily Moisturizer, clinically proven effective for dry, itchy skin. Your skin can become so dry that it is easily irritated and itchy, especially if you have atopic dermatitis or eczema, or are post encephic for hepatitis C. <clears throat> the solution? Eucerin Calming Cream. I should be on one of their commercials. If it works, I will. <laughs> so I have this on the right side of me. <clears throat> Texturally, I don't feel, I feel as though the um, Eucerin <clears throat> has absorbed mostly into my skin. It feels pretty much like my skin now. It's got some moisture to it. I feel like the Aveeno is still very silky. Um, I like both. I like both feelings. I think I'll probably prefer the more silky feeling. I'm all about some dew on my face, so why not be about it on my body? But, um, <clears throat> I still feel a little bit of the itching. I took the steroid, I took a Benadryl, and I took a... I can't think of the name of it, but I took another one that's supposed to help with that. Last night wasn't the most horrible. It definitely wasn't the best night of sleep I've ever gotten. Um, I probably got about an hour and a half total. I was up all night urinating because I drink <clears throat> so much water before bed. I'm trying to kick the Encevic out of my system. I don't know if the water is doing it and I know that I stay dehydrated so I need to have the water. <clears throat> so I'm just guzzling it which of course leads to me having to urinate every four minutes. Literally every four minutes at 12.44, 12.48, so on and so forth. I was up going to the bathroom. I know my cats were like Bitch, can you get it together? I wish I could just urinate in the bed and it would absorb and you'd never have a smell or the color. Sorry, my cat is going through the blinds right now. Oh, and the other thing <clears throat> that I'm experiencing is the um, almost like blood bitter throat. And I feel like sometimes, because I don't have a deep voice, although I wish I did, I sometimes sound like B. Arthur from the Golden Girls or Maud. God, I'll get you for that, Walter. <clears throat> and I can't... <clears throat> <clears throat> seem to clear it without them getting the hiccups. And I'm Say I'm driving you crazy, aren't I, Lulu? I am. I'm driving my cats crazy. It's okay. They drive me crazy. When I finally fall asleep, that one there decides to use the litter box for five minutes or more. I know it's really funny to you guys, but it's really irritating to me as I'm trying to sleep. But anyway, um, so... Oh, and I also, I'm sorry, I meant to mention, I got this Eucerin Calming Body Wash, which I'm excited to use and then I'm scared to use because as I've mentioned in previous videos, I hate taking baths because I have to take really, really cold baths or showers because um, if it's even lukewarm, I start to break out like no other mother and it is so terrible. And then I also got this Aveeno Soothing Bath Treatment with Colloidal Oatmeal Skin Protectant. We will see how those work when I bathe tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> I find that bathing at night is a little bit easier, but I don't want to take a chance tonight. I'd rather just do it really early in the morning. <laughs> Start my day fresh with an active itch everywhere. I wish people knew what I was going through, and luckily on this website that I have found, they do, and they sympathize, and it seems like not everybody has gone through the itching as bad as I have, and I guess others really have. 
I haven't gotten the flu-like symptoms as much on this treatment. When I first started, yes, I was sick and I had to call out of work a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but after my Pegasus shot, I really don't feel that sick. Now, maybe it was the Encevic and it was taking over my body and it just made me feel all that. Um, and maybe now that I'm off it, I will start feeling like that. I truly hope I don't. I don't think I can handle that and the itch. But I would take the flu over the itch any day. <clears throat> Sore throat, bring it on. Blurry vision, that's okay. I don't need to see. <laughs> so I want to say thank you again. I'm just constantly going to say thank you because it means so much that I can use YouTube as an outlet Facebook, Twitter, Daily Strength. It's so nice that I can reach out and talk to people and hopefully give a little bit of advice on what I'm experiencing. I know everybody's experience with it is different. Um, I haven't seen many people on the website that are in their 20s, not that there aren't any, but um, a lot of the people that I've seen are in their 40s and up. So I can't imagine what that was like on your body. As a 25 year old, this is horrific and I can't fake the funk. It's hard. It really is. I'm a world-renowned actress, but when I'm sick, I am sick, and there's just no playing around it, and these circles don't help at all. I should wear concealer, but then I just have no energy to put concealer on. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to me. I make it sound like it's me in here when I'm talking on my videos, but truth be told, I do not feel like myself. All I want to do is, like, curl up and cry. But I know that I can't because that's counterproductive. I just have to stay positive and take one day at a time. <sighs> it's hard. I'm going through a lot right now. A lot of people are. But as everybody keeps reminding me, and as I have to keep reminding myself, I will get through it. It is just for a short period of time, and it will be so worth it in the end if I end up being, um, if I end up having no more viral loads, if I am undetected for this, because I don't want any more damage to my liver. Thankfully, I was never a drinker to begin with, which... I'm sure a lot of people are like, well, then how do you have it? Isn't that what alcoholics get? Well, talk to my parents who made some bad choices, and unfortunately, they were passed on to me. But I don't hold it against them. Granted, if they were here right now, I would scratch their eyes out, <laughs> and mine as well. But um, I can't hold it against them because I do feel like there's a purpose for me having this. And even though it is dreadful, and I would never wish this on anybody... I know that in the future, maybe even today or tomorrow, that I'll use it to influence somebody to take care of themselves and to really think about the choices that they're making. My tagline has always been, since I was 14 or 15, make good choices, and I still mean that. And even if you do make good choices, like I did, I, I really tried to stay away from drinking, definitely didn't get into drugs, and I'm still a virgin as of tw being 25. Um, anything can happen. I mean... It just, as my grandfather would say, while you're driving, it just takes one asshole to ruin everything for you. And it's so true. Unfortunately, the assholes in this case are my parents. <laughs> they ruined everything. No, they didn't. But they're not here now because of the choices that they made. And I am. And sometimes I feel really alone. I'm glad I have my family. And I'm so glad I have my friends that I do have left. But... It would be nice if I had my parents and my grandparents still here since I just remember them all from my past and it's hard to think of me going through this without them, without being able to pick up the phone and talk to them, especially my grandfather who raised me basically from birth. But it's okay because I know that if there is a heaven, and I believe that there is in my personal opinion, um, that they are up there and they're watching me and they are probably telling God, okay, lay off it just a little bit. <laughs> Please make them less itchy. And um, we'll just go with that. I can't say that I have a strong faith um, in the cosmics and all that because I'm so open to learning about other people's opinions when it comes to religion or non-religion. And I'm just open-minded. I don't feel like one is more right than the other. But my hope, and this is probably, no, it's definitely because of what happened in my past, I want to believe that there is an afterlife because I want to be able to be reunited with my family that I lost so long ago. And that's the thing that keeps me going. But I'm also open to other ideas. I don't know why. I don't want this to be a religion talk. That's not where I was going. But needless to say, I just am very hopeful for the future here in the afterlife, wherever. <laughs> in a cab in New York. No, Tokyo. Do they have cabs in Tokyo? Yeah, they probably do. Okay, now the itching is starting again. Oh my God. Anyway, so again, thank you all. Thank you all very much. Thank you to Daily Strength and all the people that's reached out to me. I hope that this video reaches out to you, and I hope that we can become friends and make good choices. Good night.